Good morning all, it's 25, it's 20 to 6. Um, there's a ambulance, a fire truck, a couple of policemen just pulled up. Ambulance is in, is in front of a house, a couple of houses up. Let's hope everyone's okay. No one's got the sirens going, but obviously that's due to the time, but they've all had the lights going. Oh, what a Monday for somebody. Anyway, I just hope everyone's okay, like I said. Hi guys, it's 20 past eight. Yep, 20 past eight. Pete's leaving soon. I'm gonna edit the vlog. There's all the clips from yesterday. Seems like Pat's coming tonight to work on this. He just texted Pete and said, you wanna do it tonight, so. Ooh, then we'll only have to get the stuff to go over it afterwards. But yeah, right now it's nice. I'm going to sit outside, edit, drink my coffee, and get on with the day. So I just wrapped up my two boxes. That's a skirt and a top one, and a handbag in the bottom one. So those will go today. Um, Peter Rash. They're both leaving early, so we'll see who gets home first. Can't seem to get anything done or my mind motivated today. Um, Luna, of course, is sitting right here. I've had her out three times and she refuses to do anything. She just plays. She did take a jump at me and caught my arm. Uh, we just cut her nails as well. She is too energetic and too big for me. Um, yeah, a couple of parents called, want to pick up pictures. They have to wait till I've calmed down before I call them back. I've already got one coming between three and four, and now I've got two more. Uh, we called them last week, so I'm sure another hour won't hurt. Fix your fringe, woman. Don't come on camera before you fix. Ow, now she's getting down. Goodbye. Now I can sit comfortably, sort of, maybe. It's very hard to wrap things up when Luna's around because she's very curious and she likes to chew things. She's very warm today. I think that's why she was playing up a bit. Um, should be cooler over here though because the fan's right on me, Luna Bell. I want to eat some lunch, but I don't know what I want. What do I want for lunch today? Maybe a cheese and tomato. No, maybe a cheese and onion. No, I don't know what I want. I want a chef to say, Sue, what can I make for you? And I'll say, whatever you feel like, just no fish, no liver, no kidneys, no steak and kidney, no meat pies, except pork pies. I need an English chef. I need an English chef. Luna, it's my birthday on Friday. Can you get me an uh, English chef? She says yes. She's paying attention. It's hot, guys. I was out with her and I was melting. Very warm. I'll tell you the good thing is though, besides that piece of hair sticking up on top, I was sitting on the floor, leaning on that table, writing my thank you cards to these two people. And the fan kept blowing on me. And that's the only thing that moved is that top piece. That's not too bad. There, it's down. But um, yeah, shorty, shorty, I need to color it. I'm going to a wedding on Saturday, casual. I need to know whether I should dye my hair before or just leave it as it is. Are these blonde bits or are these silver? I have to take a picture and have a look. Scrutinize it, blow it up, zoom in. Either way, it doesn't really make much difference. All right, guys, I'm just waffling, so I'll talk to you later. Nice. If there's any problem with placement, it was Pete. Oh. There's any trouble with what? Placement, it was Pete. Oh, placement. I sold you right down. Yeah. Now, question. What? What I don't see is, I don't see. So now just Pete just has to find more wood. Put the ceiling back on. I Thank you.
Hello everyone, it is 20 to 10. We just ended up ordering a pizza because Pete and Pat were working on the deck, putting up the lights and the fan, and then Pat obviously putting the switches and stuff on the inside. Oh, it's amazing what a difference it makes having that fan out there, I have to tell you. Um, we turned everything off and just had it how it normally would be with like the little lamp outside the door. And then when you put the other one on and the fact that it's all dimmable is fantastic. So you do it all from inside on the switch pad. So I can't thank him enough for coming over tonight. He was gonna come and do it on Sunday, but he said to Pete this morning that he would come today if he wanted him to. So that's amazing. Can get the benefit from it all week long. Cause like I said it earlier, it's quite a muggy week. And Sunday he's gonna come over and put um, an outlet socket on the outside so that we have that for our computers and stuff. Cause you know, when you're out there and I'm editing a vlog, by the time I finished editing the vlog, the power's down. I mean, it doesn't last long on the computer. So yeah, so that'd be great. I'm excited about that. He did a fine job. He has to go to bed now because he has to be up early and on the train for five, <laughs> poor thing works in the city but guys that is it um oh yeah john travolta's wife died today what a shame what a beautiful lady i saw that this morning and uh, of course it's been on and off all day on the news and stuff and twitter and all sorts of things yahoo it's on there what a beautiful lady 57 which is my age and i think to myself that's no age at all and then on another hand i'm like oh my god but she had breast cancer, didn't she, and battled for two years. So that's really sad. He was my idol growing up. Loved John Travolta, especially when he was in Saturday Night Fever in Greece. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so when he was in, um, I remember when they did Birdcage live. No, not Birdcage, beg your pardon. Oh, what was it? Hairspray, nothing like Birdcage. They did the live, you know, when they do those lives on TV sometimes, and he played... The mother actually goes, oh, so that was your crush as a kid, was it? She goes, lovely. And he was all dressed up. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Monday. Whatever it is you did today, I hope it was a good one. And we will definitely see you tomorrow. Stay safe, guys, and take care.